Well, a green project on the city's northeast side has become a 40-foot mountain of junk. John Batten takes a look. It's not easy being green, and it's even harder being next door to Go Green Recycle, at least according to members of VFW Post 9997. It was bad enough when they were grinding up tires right next door. That uh, ground up product, you know, you park your car out here, you know, if it's kind of a light mist or rain, and it's just covered with it. But now they haven't seen any recycling activity in two weeks. It appears the operation is closed down, leaving behind a veritable mountain of junk approaching 40 feet high at its peak. It's bulging out of the fences around an entire city block square that has become a dump. It'd probably still be there if you hadn't run out of room. <laughs> It started out well. Last year, Go Green Recycle received a proclamation from the city for their work. So what went wrong? At the VFW, they think they know. He was harvesting the, uh, the finished product and wasn't hauling all the waste off. And, and this is why we got this big mountain. <laughs> They've seen trucks haul away some of the stuff late last week. They assume it's the landlord, who's also stuck with this mess, trying to clean things up. But it's just a tiny bite out of a gigantic elephant. It's down in the sewer system, too, because there's drains underneath of this. And even after the asphalt, wood, and metal is removed, there's another worry for the VFW. They've spotted a couple of rats out back for the first time. They wonder how many more live in the mountain and where they'll scatter to once it's removed. John Batten, NBC Action News.